Let's stay with that story then. I'm joined now by Dr. Eugene Gu, a physician at Vanderbilt University Medical Center and CEO of Ganagen Research Institute. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on BBC News. We should say you are a critic of President Trump and his policies, but as a physician, what do you think the impact is going to be on women? Thank you for having me on this show. I think the impact on women um, is going to be very severe. This is a huge attack on women's rights, um, especially since about 55 to 60 million women currently um, have their birth control covered by their insurance companies. And now that Trump has cited quote unquote religious freedom uh, for nonprofits and employers to just take away this birth control coverage, I think it's um, hundreds of thousands of American women are going to lose their contraceptive uh, coverage for birth control, uh, which is a travesty. Is it really the case, though, that insurers and employers will actually take it away? Uh, most surveys, most estimates show that very few nonprofits uh, actually hold these beliefs. It's, it's hard to predict, and it's also even harder to predict how many insurance companies just for profit motives may drop uh, contraceptive protection uh, just to uh, you know, help their bottom line. So it's, it's, I don't know how, even how many companies and nonprofits will just do it, not just based on only their moral or religious beliefs, but you know, to help their costs. Do you have any sympathy for, can you understand the point of view for those who hold deep-seated religious views that they don't want their businesses, their organizations to be part of providing birth control? That's a very great question. And what I would say for that is uh, these same people who have these highly held religious beliefs, they are also very much against abortion, right? And so birth control pills um, are actually very effective in um, you know, their namesakes as birth control, so they're effective at reducing unintended pregnancies um, when used correctly. So by um, taking away coverage for birth control and taking away birth control from women, we're going to have an increase in the number of unintended pregnancies and by, then, by that consequence, abortions as well. And for a party, for the Republicans to say that they are pro-life, and then to take away you know, contraceptive protection and, and increase and encourage abortions, I think that's not just ironic, but it's just, it's just a terrible, horrible attack on women's rights. I mean, on that point that you, you mentioned a moment ago, one of the reasons that the administration uh, has given has been that uh, the fear that mandating birth control could foster, and I quote, risky sexual behavior among teens and young adults. What do you make of that reasoning? Uh, what I make of that is that's a very almost a misogynistic view on how women behave. You know, women are, they have fundamental human rights. They are people who are in control of their own bodies. And, you, you know, saying that this will promote risky behavior is not just, not only is it unscientific, but it's taking autonomy away from women over their own bodies. And women, uh, you know, they, know how to practice safe sex. We're, we are taught, um, you know, safe sex practices in, in American schools, you know, and to assume that women will just uh, do all kinds of risky behavior uh, and you need to legislate how to control their bodies, I think is a, just a very wrong move. And on top of that, you know, this religious freedom, quote unquote, exception is not only an attack on women's rights, but also on LGBT rights as well, because this is a slippery slope that uh, who knows what they can say about, hey, you know, what if uh, you have a religious exception to gay marriage or, you know, treating a gay person? So this is just eroding rights for everyone. OK, Dr. Gu, thank you very much for speaking to us. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me.